Hello everyone and welcome back to another video's video. In this video, I'll be giving my Raiders Dolphins game preview, so let's get into it. Our biggest test now under Antonio Pierce, probably our biggest test of all season anyway, against the 6-3 uh, and three Miami Dolphins off a of bye week, uh, off a loss as well in Germany and against the Chiefs. The Dolphins, of course, uh, really good at home. Uh, not the best against the teams that are under 500, but are good against teams that are over 500. The Raiders are exactly at 500, so I have no idea like how the Dolphins are, are going to play in this game. Are they going to come out swinging off a of bye week? They have every reason to. You know, we're not a team that they 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 really think that they can lose to. They probably think that they, that they can beat us. But with how we've been going, I think we can beat up them too. I think we're not good enough on offense to put up a fight. I know we played pretty bad last week on offense, but that was against the Jets defense. Against the Giants defense, of course, we played really well. Like, I think we can, especially when we get our weapons involved, which we have done the last two weeks. We can, I think, have a nice game on this Dolphins defense, which does have Jalen Ramsey back now, but they're not the best. They don't get that much pressure. Their pass defense is not the best. And, of course, we're going to stick to running the ball in this game. But I think we do have the nice opportunity to pass the ball as well. Now, their offense is very good, but our defense, I think, has the you know, is playing well enough to stop them, at, at least in some way. You know, they, they, They're tough, right? But I think we should be able to control at least the trenches. So, if they want to run the ball, A-Chain and Mostert, that's already dangerous enough. But the run, the run blocking, I'm not sure how good it'll be. They're missing Robert Hunt and Robert Jones uh, on the uh, on the offensive line. Looks like at guard, they'll have Lester Cotton starting, former Raider. Um, Alec Engel is also questionable, also former Raider. They, they like to use him. Uh, Dermot Smith is questionable as well, tight end for them. Uh, A-Chain, of course, is questionable. He's going to play most likely. So, got to be able to stop the running game. I think we will. Their all, their all line is not that good. Besides, you know, Toronto Armstead is like the only guy I think is like pretty good on the offensive line. Um, and our, our run defense stepped up in a major way last week against Brees Hall. So we got to be able to stop the run because they're not a team that can only pass the ball. They're a team that can run the ball as well. But I think we can out-physical this offensive line. Um, and that's what we have to bank on. Because if they if they can run the ball and pass the ball, we'd be screwed in this game. I think our pass defense, like, of course they have the, the high flyers and the normal passing offense in the league, all that type of stuff. But we have the defense to actually stop them. I, I believe that. With our secondary playing well and together and not allowing that many deep completions and not allowing that many deep completions, our pass rush being better this year. I think we should be able to neutralize that offense. Like, of course, they have a lot of you know weapons. They're gonna score points. Like this is not a game where defense comes out and you know allows you know something in the teens. Like they're, they're gonna get in the twenties. I don't think they're gonna explode on us for you know thirty points. I think we will be able to get some stops, maybe force some turnovers. Even though they're really good in pretty much every offensive stat, they're not the best in turnovers. I believe they're tied for sixteenth. So we definitely can't force a turnover or two on this on this offense. That's what we have to bank on because. It might be a shootout. I'm not sure. Is our offense even ready for one? I'm not sure. That's why our defense has to make sure it's not entirely a shootout. And the Dolphins have somewhere around 25 points. Or our offense, they can score that many points. Of course, it's going to be a tough game, but we really can win this game. I, I got to trust our defense to play well enough against this offense. Now, our, our offense, of course, uh, has to be able to run the ball, obviously. No matter like how many points they're scoring, I think we're a better running team now than a passing team. And we should be able to do that with Josh Jacobs in this game. I think we will. No Jakob Johnson, they have released him. I guess he's not really a part of what Bo Hargri wants to do on offense. Uh, maybe he wants to put a tight end in, in, in there. Just maybe save a roster spot. I think Jakob Johnson could be back on the practice squad, but they don't want to use the active roster spot on him. They did the same thing with Christian Wilkerson, who is now back in the practice squad, who was a healthy scratch for like six weeks straight. But uh, I, I did like Jakob Johnson as a fullback, but I guess we don't need him anymore. Um, at least uh, on the active roster. And... Like, we could still be able to run the ball, I think, with, you know, the, our two tight end sets, 12 personnel. Now, when it comes down to passing the ball in this game, will we be able to do it effectively? Of course, they have Xavier Howard, J Jalen Ramsey, Javon Holland. Like, they've always had this talent on defense. They haven't really produced. Now, they have Vic Fangio, who's, of course, been a great defensive coordinator with the Broncos. Or, sorry, not, not a great defensive coordinator, but, you know, their defense was still great over there um, with the Bears' defensive coordinator. And now, back to being a defensive coordinator with the Dolphins. He's been a great coordinator, but their defense has not been that good this year. Always, I feel like the Dolphins have a talent that has not produced the way they wanted to. Like, they have a bunch of talent, even on the defensive line. Mayo Logba, you know, Jalen Phillips, Zach Sealer, um, Christian, um, Christian Wilkins. Like, they have a ton of talent, but it has not really produced the way they wanted it to um, over the past few years, even since Brian, Brian Flores. So, we definitely should get the ball down the field in this game. We have to, because they're going to score points. We have to score points as well. I will not feel good about this game if it ends up being a full-on shootout because I don't think our offense is good enough for that. I don't think our passing offense is ready for that. Our passing offense is pretty much been, been picking up our running game, and our running game has been picking up our defense. So kind of a weird twist now as we play, as we play the Dolphins. You know, way different from the Jazz, way different from the Giants. Huge test. 
I think we can win. I don't expect to win. Like, I expect to put up a fight. To be honest with you, I don't expect to win. But I'm very hyped. I think we can win. You know, entering tomorrow morning, I'm going to think we're going to win. Anyway, that's my Raiders-Dolphins Week 11 game preview. I'm Arto, and thank you for watching.